Proudly covering all of Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania, this is Eyewitness News Weekends. Good morning on this Saturday morning. I'm Morgan Parrish. We'll get to this morning's top news stories in just a minute, but first, let's get a check of the forecast with meteorologist Logan Westro. Good morning, Logan. Hey, good morning, Morgan. Happy Saturday, everyone. There is some areas of some patchy morning fog this morning, which is lowering some visibility. Combine that with the few showers that we still have for this morning into this afternoon. But temperatures on the mild side, once again, we're generally into the mid to upper 40s. Some areas reaching right around 50. As we do get a little bit colder by late afternoon, we will look for some snow showers to mix in with any lingering. Rain showers as we head into late afternoon into this evening. For tonight, we stay mostly cloudy with a few snow showers from time to time, but you will notice those winds kicking up. We'll have a northwesterly wind at 10 to 20 miles per hour with some gusts nearly up to 25 miles per hour in some spots. Here's your seven day forecast for you. We're watching another clipper system for Sunday night into early Monday morning, which may provide us with minor snow accumulations, maybe even some slick spots, but also on the windy side for your day on Sunday. Our next storm system moves in for Tuesday. Temperatures back into the mid 30s, Morgan. Sounds good. Thanks, Lou. Again, an elderly Scranton man has died after being struck by a car on North Kaiser Avenue. The coroner tells Eyewitness News the victim is 86 year old Robert Kaur Sr., who lived at an assisted living center on the campus of Allied Services on the Morgan Highway. Police say Kaur was crossing North Kaiser just north of the Morgan Highway Friday morning when he was struck. He later died at the hospital from multiple traumatic injuries. There is no word yet if the driver will face any charges in the electric city. A fiery crash leaves several people, including a child injured in Montour County. An SUV collided with the tractor trailer around 3.30 Friday morning along Interstate 80 eastbound near Danville. The rig overturned in the wreck and burst into flames. The trucker escaped serious injury, but two adults and a child in the SUV were seriously hurt. The highway was closed for hours during the investigation. A man wanted for a Luzerne County burglary a couple months ago is now off the streets. Kingston police arrested 28-year-old George Johnson. He's accused of burglarizing a home in November along Mott Avenue. Police say Johnson was spotted Thursday posing as a PPL worker in Wilkesbury when he was taken into custody. Johnson is behind bars this morning in Luzerne County. Workers at a Scranton healthcare company say they aren't getting paid. Sweet Home Healthcare has reportedly not paid its employees since the end of December. Some employees spoke out Friday about their concern and frustration over not receiving their paychecks. Eyewitness News reached out to the corporate facility by phone and email, but we did not get a response. We also stopped by the Scranton office, but management declined to speak with us. It's an honor for some Pennsylvania patriots that's decades overdue. Congressman Matt Cartwright handed out a Purple Heart Friday to the son of the late Army First Sergeant Robert A. Jones. He also presented Korean Ambassador for Peace Medals to four veterans for their service during the Korean War. It all took place at a ceremony at the Gino Murley Center in Scranton. That's all for this half hour. We'll have more news in 30 minutes. Until then, have a great day.